think the most interesting way is to compare with the total year uh, 2019. And in fact, it's only a 16 basis point decline uh, because it's 18 versus 18.6. So it means that we were really able to preserve the margins uh, pretty well, I think, in this first half in, in very, very, very adverse uh, conditions. So I think it's uh, boding very well for the second half where very probably the conditions will be less difficult because people, I don't think that countries will go again into uh, lockdowns, uh, closure of stores, the confinement. And so uh, we, are, uh, we are very confident for the second half. Are you going to have to make incremental investments and look into new directions, new product launches to try to aid in the recovery, in particular in parts of your business like travel, retail, makeup, a professional, which have been hit particularly hard? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to invest. And, you know, I said uh, in the press that, uh, uh, of course, in this first half, we, we had to be cautious. Uh, so, in fact, and, and we deliver a pretty good first half. But now it's time uh, to be more offensive again. And so uh, all the launches that we had uh, not done, we are going to do them now. So uh, And we have a, a, a very... Uh, intensive plan of new launches for every division, number one. Number two, we are uh, we're going to increase, uh, we are already increasing our media in this second half. And third, we are organizing with all our retail partners, uh, brick and mortar, and of course, e-commerce, a very strong back to beauty operation to stimulate consumption of beauty uh, everywhere. Mostly, of course, in uh, in mass market, uh, also in uh, in luxury stores that are reopening. Also, we are helping the salon to uh, to uh, bring back consumers. Uh, and regarding retail, uh, travel retail, you know, it depends, of course, on the uh, international air traffic where we we cannot uh, influence. And if we can uh, look at the regional split of your businesses and the performance you've seen, the key disappointment uh, in the first half was uh, Europe and North America. When do you see those markets recovering? I would I wouldn't say it was a disappointment. You know, the in fact the the, the yeah, there were two parts in the world in this first half. One part was China, that in fact uh, was the first country to experience uh, the pandemic, but also the first country to get out of it. And uh, what we have seen in China is, uh, is a strong rebound, very strong. The market was uh, up again in, uh, in Q2 by 10%, but we were up uh, plus 30%, so gaining market share in a very strong way. And in fact, the rest of the world, depending on the situation of the pandemic, uh, was more or less homogeneous, you know, between Western Europe and Eastern Europe. And that was also due to the footprint that we have in professional, in luxury, in makeup. So I would say that the, the performance of the different parts of the world were more or less the same. And now going on, uh, the, I'm pretty confident that uh, most countries will get back to a positive. And of course, it will depend on the evolution of the sanitary situation. Let's talk about China and the strength that you've seen there and the recovery you've seen. They were obviously first hit by the pandemic. They have been a first out of the pandemic in terms of easing measures. What have you observed in terms of changes in consumer behavior as a result of the pandemic? Well, you know, the first, uh, the first thing that was obvious is that uh, e-commerce uh, accelerated tremendously. Uh, e-commerce was already very strong in China. Uh, in and, but now it's uh, even stronger. We are doing more than 50% of our business uh, in China with uh, e-commerce. And this is something that, uh, that we are observing also uh, everywhere in the world. I think the, the, the most important change uh, that uh, in terms of uh, consumer behavior that this crisis will bring to our industry is the fantastic acceleration of e-commerce that is here to stay. What we see uh, everywhere in the world is that even when... Uh, brick and mortar stores reopen, e-commerce is still uh, growing. It's not weakening at all. So this is uh, definitely a tipping point for uh, uh, e-commerce. Uh, beside that, we, we, we are seeing that uh, the consumption has, uh, has uh, rebounded pretty well, both for, uh, for luxury and for mass and for uh, 
for active cosmetics. Of course, we still see uh, some uh, uh, weakness for makeup and uh, more strength for skincare, but I think that this also will probably uh, uh, evolve in the, in the months to come.